Houston always gets an increase in homeless people during the summer months as transients from neighboring states make their way here. But this year, there's a lack of services for them, including shower facilities. As 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas explains, a West Side church is opening up their showers to help. Larissa? The Bream Presbyterian Memorial just started this program on Monday, and unlike in shelters, which require anyone taking a shower to be a resident of the shelter, they are not going to ask any questions, nor will they ask for an ID, which can be a barrier for some of the homeless. Last summer, this now fenced off building owned by the DHHR in downtown Charleston served as drop in shower facilities for Charleston's homeless. As the summer neared, options like it had dried up due to the pandemic, leaving many of the areas homeless without a place to bathe, even in 95 degree heat. Seeing a lot of people coming in that has not been as clean as usual. And we've talked with Manamil and Kanavai Collective, and they're saying the same thing. So we came together and said, let's provide this. Bream Presbyterian Church Outreach Coordinator Derek Hudson says they first noticed the need at their food pantry. With the help of Appalachian Service Project, who installed PVC pipes, they were able to put their large men and women shower facilities behind the church to use again. We put up the shower curtains and assembled that uh, so that the men's showers would be separated. Kanawha Valley Collective, Mana Meal, and United Way have also helped with clothing and toiletry donations. Bree Memorial Pastor Dawn Adamy says she's not worried about transients coming through the church. It's a part of our fulfilling our call to love our neighbor and to care about the people around us. And we all know when you're not uh, sheltered and you don't have access to a safe place uh, most of the day, um, where would you go? Although they just started Monday, the program has already given a refreshing bath to some. Two people just left. Um, they took full advantage of everything. They got themselves a little shave, brushed their teeth, took a cold shower. They really wanted a cold shower and they were very excited about uh, new clothes, new underwear to put on, but who wouldn't be? And the church tells me they are looking for ways to transport some of the homeless from Mana Meal and from downtown to them so they don't have to walk across town in these hot temperatures for a shower. At the Digital Desk, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you.